on welcome welcome everybody 10:35. we are going live we only got one person in the chat right now but that is fine you will be the one person to have the display of awesomeness with vivid voltage if anybody's joining us on tiktok you can go over to twitch.tv slash pop snatchers and you can see the stream live what we're going to pull out of these bad boys so we're going with number two generous benefactor said go with the number two that i got which is technically i believe it's you said number two right and we said the bottom one was number two i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure i forget what it was but i think we're going with the bottom one generous benefactor tell me one more time one more time and here we go guys here we go onto the stream make sure my hand is coming out again kakashi sensei hanging out for the win over here and we got our buddy jolty on here do you play pokemon go i do play pokemon go i absolutely do um, number two is this bottom one. I believe it was because that was the first one I put from the top end over here. That's the one we're going for. So we're going to put our secondary booster box up here for vivid voltage. And we're also going to take out a good luck over here. Don't have my Pikachu with me, but we do have Jolteon, the pop figure, the man, the legend, the Jolt. He's Jolteon on the Jolteon pop figure. Bam, right there. Hopefully for some good luck for a Giga Pikachu. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? So here we go. This is a big old box of Vivid Voltage, guys. Big old box of Vivid Voltage. I don't even need my Charizards over here, but they're they're hanging out for good luck. Possibly to get one of the Charizards that's in this set. Which, that's why I put Benny the Zard Day 18. This is a possibility. This is technically later than we normally stream. So I'm hoping it could be in here. It could be in here. Opening up the Vivid Voltage. It just smells so fresh. It's the, it's the freshest smelling booster box I've ever opened, guys. The, the most freshest, the, the bestest. Let's get this little guy in the back poking up. Little beast. Where is your where is your decal? Where, the decal's not even broken, guys. This is how fresh this box is. The decal's not even popped out. Pop out the decal. Bing, bang, boom. Now we got him hanging out right there. So, actually, let's pull this guy down off the top here. Because we'll be pulling packs out of this bad boy here. Out of the top. Um, do we open the ETB first, guys? Do you want me to? I'm definitely opening up one of these. So I think this is the one out of the three that I picked that we're going to open up. This, this lovely giant Gigamax Pikachu that I saw at Walmart the other day. Early, early earlier than everybody got it i told people to go check and they finally found it today somebody's saying numbers here we're actually not guessing anything um so like i said the charizard technically is for tomorrow if we pull a bogus one out of here it will technically count but it's not for the giveaway wise for the most part but let's open this bad boy up too so we have a we have a fresh case opened up a fresh box of vivid voltage as well as an etb here opening it up let's see that inner that inner one do we like any of the ones in there? Not really, but that Celebi's in there. Looking sweet. Got our set list here. And they did it again with this shitty box design. Guys, what are they doing with this? I do not like this box design whatsoever. I'm just saying it. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like it. We got a big old pack of Gigamax Pikachu sleeves over here. Regardless, I'm putting my bet into eight. There you go. Um, we got our rule book over here, which nobody ever reads. Pretty much just the basics. And we have eight more packs of Vivid Voltage from this box. And I'll be able to put my code in later to get my Gigamax in here as well. So, put some codes up here. Didn't like this box, but it's okay. It'll keep all my bulk now. This is where the bulk will go. This is how we do it. Okay, got my bulk box over here. It's actually taking up too much space. I'm going to have to move this guy out of the way, Mr. Booster Box. Thank you. Goodbye. Vivid Voltage. Here we go. Guys, if you didn't tell your friends already, Vivid Voltage, it's amazing. Let's do this. All I got right now, I forgot my Starbucks in the other room. What is up, Ralph? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for following. I don't know how the follower things work, but we got this thing way up above my head saying how many we're looking to get to we're looking to get to 100 within two weeks that's what we were really hoping for so i switched the goal over we are down to it doesn't even say how many it should say how many remaining it doesn't it just says four days to go we have 11 out of 51 so guys tell your friends come on over hang out right now the vivid voltage the jolteon the jolteon tells you command your friends 
just like evolutions. you know what I mean? You got to get them over here so we can all hang out. This is the whole point of it. Putting my keyboard down, guys. Getting out the first pack of Vivid Voltage with this badass, what is that, the Orbeal, I guess? It's got to be. It looks like just an alien ship. It looks like if you put the uh, the the, uh, the White House under here, it's pretty much Independence Day right here. So, kind of crazy. Loving this set. We're hoping to get most of it in one booster box. Who knows? Who knows, guys? We already got the first white code. Let's see what we got. <laughs> first pack magic? Let's go. Let's go. I'm not... Where, uh, yep, I'm on my stand over here. I'm on the stand. There goes my marker. Guys, we are just... Whew, can't lose that. That is to mark off what we have on the counter tomorrow. So let's see what we got here. We got an Alistair. Alistair is super, super dark. Draw three cards. If you drew any card in this way, discard up to three cards in your hand. You must discard at least one card. So it's kind of a double doer right there. Cramorant eating a fish over here. That is a that is a cool artwork right there. You put two Pokemon in one, and that that is not a battle. That is just a loss right there, guys. Insane. Okay, we got the Pinaco. Actually, super sweet in Pokemon Go. You can get a nice shiny around. Probably better chances. A Clefairy. We got a Tynamo, which is not what the other the Cramorant was eating. A Milsery. We got a Galarian Meowth. I really hate this guy. I really do. I never like Meowth. We got a Reverse Sable Eye on the first pack. And what do we have behind it? <sighs> a normal Snorlax. But look at that Snorlax. He is actually snoring it up. You're going to need your Poke Flute at this point. Nice little hollow here. I'm going to have to keep these guys separated. Keep them separated um, to be able to know where my good pulls are over here for tomorrow for putting the binder together. That's going to be another thing. Now I have to put a Vivid Voltage binder together. Imagine that, guys. Hey, guys, on TikTok, like I said, if you want to come over, you can see everything up front and personal over on our Twitch, twitch.tv slash popsnatchers. Making sure I'm keeping some of my stuff separated so i don't got to do more work tomorrow including that and the code card which is down there too oh, i already i already peeked it let's go through it coding energy technically an energy shuckle a blitzel a slugma who's who's way out of way out of range right now he's like hey i want to come back home but uh yeah i don't know why you traveled so far beldum one of my favorites in pokemon go Another Milsery seems like it's going to be one of the commons. Wooper in the summertime. You got the little baby pool here for Wooper alone. A Hero's Medal. This looks like an actual. This is a super cool card. The Pokemon V Max. Let's move this guy over. Um, on this card is attached to negative 100 HP. Wow, there are some V Max rules on here. That might be a good card in tournament. And we have a normal metagross okay which is another one of my favorites in pokemon go but i don't know why he gets trashed by everybody when i have him for battle he gets wrecked i don't understand what it is somebody says i have 35 funko pops multiply that by 10 and you got about half of my stock at home um it is unacceptable the amount of uh, funkos i have please guys if you want to go to my mercari and, and buy some you can take them off my hands no problem Heroes Metal Gold card is really nice. There's actually a gold card for that. Wow. I don't I didn't look into the set. I like to be semi-surprised. So right now, these are the first eight coming from. And and the thing is, can we get this Giga Pikachu? I mean, even if I'm not collecting the full set, that thing is worth money right now. I don't know if it's just the hype or whatnot, but still a crazy kind of thing. Vivid voltage for the win. This is a D Watt. Opal over here. Opal looks kind of. What is it? What are you doing? Are you at like a ECD or uh, what is it? It's not ECD. ED. Uh, oh, what was the what was the carnival one for all the 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 house music? EDM. It's EDM music, but I forget what it, what the actual festival was. It looks like that's the kind of festival it was. So just saying, is Mercari like eBay? It is, except for there's no international shipping, so it's only within the U.S. Um, you can put offers in. You can put, um, people can send offers to you. It's kind of like eBay. I would say it's definitely like eBay now with the fees. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, it is kind of crazy. It's just a, it's just a, a within the U.S. kind of thing. So favorite Funko that I own. That's a good question. Um, I really love my Pokemon ones, but I'm going to have to say it's my signed autograph by, um, uh, by Abraham Ford. Not that's the character from The Walking Dead, 
But um, yeah, so it, it's definitely his autograph one. And I have a Headless Herschel, so those are my two favorites. Walking Dead all the way. Reverse Carolis and a normal Doe fan. This one actually it looks better than the promo one. The promo one's kind of, man, EDC. That's right, EDC is the name of that one. So I was correct, technically. I used to work it. I used to work for the stadium. Used to have fun. I used to feel really bad for that one, too, because it was like... There was girls there that should not, should not have been dressing the way they were dressing, and their parents had to like drop them off. Um, and then it like makes you feel bad as an adult. Like you're not you're not trying to look around, but you're like these people are putting this stuff in your face. You're like, come on, guys, like like please dress normal, dress normal. Not that kind of guy, not that kind of situation. But seriously, like like the amount of, like I had to keep catching people like, dude, keep your eyes to yourself. Like it's a it's a carnival. It's a festival. It's supposed to be a nice place for everyone. Here's this Cramorant again, eating the fish. Pokemon. I forget which one that is. We'll probably come across them. Imagine the other the other angle is just in the Cramorant's mouth for that Pokemon's picture on here. That would be a pretty sweet one. Tynamo. Milsery again. Wow, this is turning out to be a lot of bulk, guys. Galarian Meowth. There's another new one. A Chimico. We got the Reverse Beldum. Like I said, my favorite again. <laughs> And boom, an Aglash V. This is actually the full art. Very, very nice. Not too shabby on what they were doing there production-wise for their centering. Very nice card here. This one's going in a premium sleeve for now. Will hang out with us and possibly be moved onto another sleeve and a holder later to go off. Who knows? Who knows what we will and will not get for uh, grading in the future. My favorite Funko Pop I own is Deku from My Hero Academia, and that is the glow in the dark. Very, very nice. I have the Comic Con version of that, and I love it dearly. And it is in the Vault Vault, which means the stuff gets put away for a couple years because nobody wanted to convince me to sell him prior. Not my fault, their fault. And um, yeah, he's in the Vault right now, and uh, I, I can't wait to see him in a couple years and see where he goes to. Um, I, my other one I really like is the. Um, the two that came in the last couple of years, so one is the Funky Phantom from Hanna-Barbera. That one was a 1500 exclusive from Comic-Con. I physically was there to get it and was in line. It was an amazing experience. Only the experience you'll get when you get that, um, that okay that you're going on to the, uh, the Funko line-wise, you know what I mean? Um, other than that, it's kind of, you feel like a loss. If you're not, if you do not have a Funko ticket for that lottery, it is such a bad one. Um, a bad taste in your mouth while you're walking around Comic-Con to know all these people are there. And then you try to get the, the leftovers. There's nothing ever there. Very, very little. Delma is here. We got a Trumbeak. Sableye. Doo -doo -doo -doo. A Joltik. A Sandile. A Sea Dot. I'm just looking for these amazing rares, guys. That's all I really care about in this box. Or these uh, things in general. Pipac. If we can get another one of these eight packs from this ETB, I would be ecstatic because that means I have three. Four, then. I have one Celebi we have from the other day. He's actually hanging out in the back over here, which I can bring him back out. These amazing I wouldn't even care if I got a double to be able to sell or get graded. These guys are so sweet, so shiny, and so beautiful. Literally every single one of these energies are a little shine to it little accents in the card itself these guys i'm telling you are going to be money so pretty and uh it will be money in the future guaranteed a reverse beedra we're working with and a normal samurai samurai for the win over here we're going to have a big binder to go through tomorrow i don't know if you guys like to be there i normally go live on tiktok with you guys to go over my binder to show you that it's not just pulls guys it's also being there for the rest of this kind of stuff uh, going on, which is super boring, putting together bulk and all this stuff. And that is why we like hanging out with you guys doing this kind of stuff. So somebody said, I got lucky in 2019 Comic-Con with the Chrome All Might, some guy who agreed to buy me one. Very nice. You can actually, yeah, you can work the system a little bit. And some people aren't there just to scalp and get every single item. Um, so you can actually get it a workout where somebody will help you out and get you something that you need. So absolutely use the people in the line try to your best if not you can go to the end of the line the scalpers literally just wait at the end of the line as soon as they get off and they wait for people to purchase stuff from them so kind of crazy but it is what it is and that's how the system goes another sand dial also what pinaco a reverse voltorb this is a very simple voltorb but very nice what is he doing though it looks like a barrel behind him it looks like a cat like a cat litter box on, on the right hand on the left hand side what is this voltorb doing 
Unless this is one of those ones that was in the Sith Co. That was like just hanging out. And you're like, look, I got a Pokeball. And it's like, not. And then his eyes just come, nope, not a Pokeball. And a Clefable. These ones, they went like super sketch on these, uh, on some of these, these duplicates over here for this Clefable and the Clefairy. I don't like them very much. I know they're fairy Pokemon, whatever the case is, but yeah. Those cards are the outlines for the Pokemon is the same colors as the background. Interesting. Interesting. Um, let's keep going. This is just the first eight packs from the ETB. It was just to get the tchotchke things, get the box, because, I mean, I found three of them. Finder's Fee is me getting it to one to myself, and the rest to either get rid of or stock for, for future. Who knows? I am a keeper of all. Keeper of Funkos, collectibles, and all. Just for the future, guys. You never know. I'm like Doc Brown and Marty McFly, but instead of the box, I mean, the, um the almanac it is pokemon cards guys it's sealed product it's the way we go unless i go through all of it with the charizard hunts insane clobopus skidoo shoop it a ferro seed a reverse fampy fampy's actually chilling why are all these ones just chilling on vivid voltage shouldn't they just be like more jacked up they should be like more like all of them should be worried or, or totally super like giga maxed out and they have, like, Fampy over here with, um, what is it, Teddy Dursa, just, like, hanging out. Like, what are, what are they doing? What are they doing? Let's see what we got here, guys. Amazing. A Galarian Darmanidin VMAX. This is another, this is the full art? I don't know. This is kind of, it's got the texture to it. This is the, the VMAX. I mean, either way. Um, so, yeah, this one's a sweet card. I don't have anything from Vivid Voltage. So, here comes the wife into my live stream. What you doing in the other room? And you're on the wrong platform, too. Download Twitch, lady. Be another follower of mine. Hype me up in the chat. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go over here. Guys, if you're on Twitch, um, thank you very much. If you're on TikTok, you can go over to Twitch. You can see everything little by little. Somebody's literally saying they're going to go live and telling me they're going to go pull Vivid Voltage. We're in the middle of it right now. Where are they? They should be here for ours, and I would be there for theirs, but vivid colors, vivid colors. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. I, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I guess that's why. Yeah, they're not, they should be jacked up Pokemon, I think. I think they should be, like, like Darkness of Blaze should have had angry Pokemon all day. Should have just had angry, angry Pokemon, because it's darkness, and they're ablazed. Let's go. Energy, Loudrid, Zebreska, Coating Energy. Ah, I keep forgetting to put those energies over here. Sandile again, Dot. Trying to see if we see any commons. I actually didn't see this Mudbray yet. Mudbray. Joltik. He's actually plugging some stuff in. Is he is he doing the work for your computer? Very interesting. We got a Skidoo. And it was a white code. So it's a hollow. A hollow Shaman. Actually, I like... These hollows are actually very, very nice compared to some of the other sets. So I will say they did their work uh, for what it is. We're going to put the hollow up here, but not keep them in a premium. Nothing like that yet. I will go through that later when I go through my binder to see what I'm keeping and what I'm not. So we are done currently for the ETB. We have two great pulls from this. We have the Aglash V and the Galarian Darmanidin VMAX. So we got two out of eight packs for this series. So Yen Ben's over on TikTok saying cheese again. I'm sure the cheese in will be coming into this uh, chat room very momentarily on the stream. So guys, if you were here, please come hang out with us. We got, uh, like I said, if you don't believe with the cards alone, we got Post Malone and Freddie Mercury behind me for the win. So what side should we start with this Vivid Voltage booster box? I apologize. You can't see the full thing in the background, but they're all nice up here. I don't know if I should start with the right or the left side, guys. Which one should I start with? We're going to go through this entire booster box, guys. This is also to show you what your pull rates are and what you can actually get. Somebody said taco. We got right. <laughs> Generous back benefactor for the taco. I don't know what side the taco is. If I fold it in half, it's still that. I got a left and a right. Do we got another person... Yen Ben got cheese cheese. That's a double sided right there. That is not a, and we're getting two lefts right here. So generous benefactor went to the left. Let's start with the left. Sorry, Brody fails. Brody fails. We are starting on the left hand side of this nice box over here. Hyper aware with the cheese. We got the cheese emotes going over here. I don't know why they're saying cheese, but cheese. Yen Ben games will come in and say the cheese in all the time. All the time. Okay, let's get it. Even, so, like I said, if we get a Charizard in here, I'm counting it for day 18. I don't care. 
No prize for this one because it's going to be a basic this way, but I definitely want one of the, another Charizard from here. I did get a cop out and I got two of them in that little deck thing. What type of box did you pull the Charizard promo out of? That is a build and battle box. Um, ooh, this is a nice Eevee actually. Did not even look at this one. Eevee's in the starry sky. Ooh, and so happy. This Eevee is just chilling. You know what, Eevee? You can hang up here in the Hall of Fame with us. Eevee for the win. Okay, we got Trubbish over here. We got Shoop It. We got a Reverse Shaman now, which we have the Hollow of, and a normal Two Cannon. Two Can. Two Can Sam over here, taking, making an appearance. Two Can Sam, start staying with the left side. Yeah, that that Eevee, that's a winner in this set alone. I think that one should have been something they made, like one is the one of the art ones, or who knows. We need some more full art Eevees and some crazy Eevee stuff. So who knows when we're gonna get that? Come on, Pokemon! Instead of killing the world, um, with all our plastic that we've been getting from you, from all the Jirachi boxes and everything else, the least you can do is make a really cool Eevee again. Um, I mean, the Shiny Vault's got one, but you know, I just pulled another um, a Charmander the other day. Now I'm gonna let you guys know some information of what we're looking for in the Flipper groups. We have a Reverse Nessa right here, very nice, and we're getting a Hollow, a Hollow Zer. Z Exernus, Exernus, that's what it is. Look at that little shine on there, but that is a cool Nessa Reverse. I believe there's a um, there's a full art somewhere of her, so I can't wait to get some of these. Um, okay, guys, so the things you're going to be looking out for in the near future, or right now if you can get on there, um, look out for Ancient Mew. I don't know if you guys have gotten the tips yet, um, but I'm just telling you guys ahead of time. Da -da -da, where's my submissions? Here they are. Get nine tails off of here, and the Charizard we pulled today, and the Toga Kiss. This is actually for this series, so I'm gonna pull this guy out over here. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you guys some stuff. We're getting this Vivid Voltage Charizard, of course, graded, and the Lugia. These are gonna be the two rarest slash most sought after for this series. This Charizard, I don't know. I just might, just because it's the Charizard and it looks badass. We have our shiny. These guys a little while back, this first edition Pikachu from Jungle, I, I invested in like 15 of them. I think there's two of them that's worth grading. There might be another one or two mixed in there, but I was really, really digging into the condition of them. This is something my group knew about a little while back. So all I'm saying is there's probably very little of them left, but if you can get them for a decent price, these guys graded are going for a decent amount for this red cheeked Pikachu first edition Jungle set. That's that one. Guys, one two three four five ancient muse going in for grading soon i'm telling you it is crazy you have to find these um if you can find them sealed so then when you send them in they get the better they at least know they're coming fresh from this instead of having any wear or tear with them but i am sending four or five of these bad boys off um to get graded so that's another thing to look out for ancient mew it used to be 10 to 20 dollars it's up to 50 dollars minimum raw I got them when they were 10 bucks a piece, and then graded, they're going for like over $100 right now. So just saying. Two Charizards over here. We got the Charizard Mega, the Charizard from Detective Pikachu, and this is another one, guys. I mean, I really hate because I, I like scooping these guys up. This is an amazing card. This is so undervalued right now. If you can get a PSA 10 for this, I mean, obviously the best grading that you can get. That's what you really want. These guys are sleeper sets for this Cosmic Eclipse. People are going to regret not having these down the line. I think all the trainers are going to go up, but especially this Red and Pikachu. I am just saying, this is a beautiful card. Another crazy card, just like the Celebi. That one might go into. We'll see what's what. But that is currently what I have on the chopping block for getting graded. Um, or possibly for the future. This is just a lot that I'm getting together. So let's continue. Left-hand side. Vivid Voltage. I was about to say Darkness Ablaze. Vivid Voltage again. Let's continue to get some crazy stuff out of here. And we're waiting for... Apparently, I'm also here to double check. They're saying that there's supposed to be two amazing rares in each booster box. So if you get a booster box, if you got the big boy money to spend on it, and you can find it, this is the way to go. Opal over here, again, at EDC. Metang. Ooh, haven't seen this one yet. Wissimer. Um, again, crying in a pool um or a well maybe maybe it fell down a well and then it had to cry itself out i mean i'm just being devil's advocate right here so um one sh uh what one should i get sword and a pokemon sword and shield um of the series of sword and shield anything that's available really both boxes and i opened two amazing rares okay so perfect that execute right there a woobat 
a Beldum. So we're guaranteed two surprises in this thing, no matter what. A Blitzel, a Reverse Trumbeak, and what can we get here? We got the Togokiss V, and now that means we have the V and the VMAX for the binder tomorrow. Wow, I am going to be knocking off some of these guys for sure. So far, I'm not a fan of Vivid. Well, that's why I figured I'd do one box. You've already convinced me not to do the second, but you know what? No, I'm telling you, these are going to be chase cards. Even if you invested in them and then they'd be able to flip the stuff, to be honest, it's going to happen in the near future. People are don't really believe me, but um, watch it. Watch how crazy this run is going to be of how small this print run was. Just like Champions. Champions is coming out in waves. That's why we still find it. But this is going to be, I think, a hard find until the second wave in February or so. So a couple months, that can make a big difference in price, guys. I'm telling you. And that Giga Pikachu is already going for money. So who knows what is here, what's left. I would just say, if you can, invest in what you love. That's it. you gotta be got to be happy at the end of the day. End of the day. That Eevee again. Loving that Eevee. You can stay back with your Eevee buddy. I'll have an army of Eevees. Here we go. There was the Aracuda that was being eaten by the um, Cramorant. Actually, funny enough, is that the... I gotta double check this. That is the... This is the actual one that's gonna be in that Cramorant's mouth. Why? Because Cramorant is actually diving in to go get it. Crazy enough as it is, they actually doubled up on both of those. That's kind of crazy. You think champions will be hard to find, especially the ETB. Right now, um, I would say no because of the waves, but it will become harder to find. And it's just like Hidden Fates, and unless they throw us a curveball and try to do something crazy. There's a reverse Charmander, very cool Charmander on here. And we have a hollow Duraludon? Duraludon. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that. Nice, nice hollow. Like I said, not in the Hall of Fame up over here, but very nice pull still. Dupe out of a out of a white code, but it is fine. It's no, it's no V card or V Max or Rainbow Rare. We're hoping one of these, and then we're trying to see. I'm also trying to see if any of us get the greens, um, the the amazing rares in a green code, because then it would be a surprise in itself. Delmize, Trumbeak, Sableye, Chatit, Joltic, Cottony, the Mudbray, Slugma again, way far out. Here is a new one, a reverse drill burr I have not had yet, and a normal shift tree, shift tree in the background. So you can find hidden fates in mis in the mystery packages at Walgreens. You can if you can even find them though. Like it, I I completely agree. They are at Walgreens. You can find them in here, and you get an actual extra uh, card with them as well. You can. The thing is, I trust, I do trust this company, MJ Holdings, better than I do Fairfield because we all hear that Fairfield weighs their packs and then they throw the BS ones out to us in the public and we still buy them, whatever the case is. But I agree, you can find them. But to find the tins, which I have another one around, where, where do they go? They're, uh, they're in the closet for safekeeping. I got four or five tins here, a bunch of Champions Path, a bunch of Shining Legends, uh, more Champions Path on the bottom, and a bunch of loose packs, guys. There's an insane amount of Pokemon cards here at the Streamlab. Um, just saying. So let me move some of this bulk over here like we said before. Let me put this box up and start putting some bulk in here because this is stuff I'm going to have to go through tomorrow. I do not want it in the way today. In the way today. Don't want it. Don't want it. What else are you guys collecting out there? You guys getting any other sets? I know people are, are reinventing. You know what? You know what I didn't bring out to the party? You're gonna come over here and you're gonna you're gonna uh, be be in front of our Eevees. That's right. Cause he's he's so set to get that Pikachu right there. Dwight Troop for the win. One of my favorite series ever. The Office. Super obsessed with The Office. I'm so glad I meet other collectors that love The Office. And fortunately, I can't do that right now, selling wise, because I took all of my stuff off the shelves and I put them in the vault. Put them in the vault so they cannot be touched for years because if they ever vault anything from that item, we've been asking for the office for years. So just saying, just saying. If that goes out, we're done for, guys. If that ever goes out, something gets vaulted from it, that's only going to be the first of many. Um, the only thing I'm missing from that series is the three-hole punch gym and the chase gym. So gym is eluding me at this point, but we're going to continue with our vivid voltage over here. Let's go. Let's go. 1104 imagine i just like i stream now and then we just go oh well, you know what 1201 we'll start the charizard hunt you know what i mean you never know you never know that's why you got to stick around guys and if you guys ever need to you can watch this on twitch afterwards i keep it on there i try to upload it to youtube but some have not been going i think anything over an hour has been causing me a problem but it is on twitch for now 
I will re-upload to YouTube later. We'll figure out, ooh, that is a nice electric. I like that with the colors. That one would actually be kind of a cool vivid, but there you go, cheese again. Cheesing it up, Ben. Ooh, uh, there we go. Legendary bird. Reverse Zapdos, which means there's going to be a hollow of this guy. That is awesome right there. That is a sweet pull. And a Garbador. A bunch of garbage right afterwards. But that Zapdos is sick. That is a sick Zapdos. That is super sweet. Look at that red lightning in the back. Crazy. He's got to be going through a storm. He's going through the, uh, I don't even know where he is. He's in the mountains, mountain range or something like that. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Trash man. That's right. Garbador. Uh, last week, there was so much tins of Target. Yeah, I mean, the flippers have been kind of taking their time now. They had to go after all those freaking Jirachi botches. Um, you guys can still get them online, guys. They're, they are hardcore botted, I will admit that. But if you keep checking in, and especially if it goes out of stock, it goes in and out of stock within like 15 minutes constantly. Just keeps putting in like 10, 15 of the item. I wound up grabbing five the other day, before, and then I announced it to you guys. So thank God. I guess I, don't, I tend to grab information from the flippers and give them to you guys the collectors so just so you could be aware just where we're, where we're at um I'm, I'm kind of a mole in the same sense not really i mean i am doing what i'm doing on that side i don't you know what i mean i do i do resell and reflip um but just saying yeah the the, the jirachi boxes can still be purchased online you just have to be extra careful and just be watching it all the time you can still get it i got another five boxes tonight shipped over to me so just saying the possibilities are there i am not using a bot they're not they are botted but i'm not using that Ooh, a nice dreadnought reverse and a mana trick man we got a couple of him last night like i said guys if you were over on tiktok please come on over so you can see the full display of this vivid voltage being pulled this is the this is the place to be place to be I know everybody's got Vivid Voltage right now. I should have done it two weeks ago, whatever the case was, but I didn't want to do it first. I didn't want to be the first. Also, I felt bad because I felt like my shop was going to get in trouble for actually selling it that fast, so I didn't want to get them in trouble either. So, Stunfish, it's different when I find them out of state because then I'm like, nope, that's not that's not my fault. It's not my state. I ain't getting nobody in trouble, but I don't want to get my local card shops in trouble. A Ninkata, Wissimer, Drillber, Another, I think this is the second reverse chimichurri we've gotten, and an electro. Oh my god, that electrode's sick. He's so angry. He's mid explode, guaranteed. I mean, I know it says electric ball right here, and buzz cat, buzzap generator. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may search your deck for up to two lightning energy cards and attach them to your your lightning Pokemon in any way you like. Then shuffle your deck and search your deck if this is if this way this Pokemon is knocked out. Very interesting. So that means every turn while this guy's on your bench, you're good. You could just keep searching for energies. That's kind of crazy. That yeah, this electrode is cool. It absolutely is cool. They did a lot better, I think, with the hollows on this one. So I don't know if they were just taking their time this time or not. I do not know. I'm gonna keep my rares up here out of the way. Nice and easy. Cheesing it up. Cheesing it up. That's it. Here we go. Another one. We're almost we're almost halfway through one side of vivid voltage, guys. I think we can do it under an hour. I'm pretty sure we've done it in the past, but I think I just keep talking half the battle. There's that Cramoran again. He's got that, he's got that fish in his mouth that he dove in for, so he deserves it. Churchester bath. Wow, even in the gyms, guys. You got you got your saunas going on. They got they got their own regiments. Look at that Whalmer. What is he doing? Is he, I think he's creating the waves there. I wouldn't even say that he's riding it. He's definitely creating those waves. They're pretty much a tsunami if you can really look behind you how big these waves are going to be. So Whalmer, for the loss of that of that tribe, whatever's on that island, Beldum, Fampy again with the relaxing. Ooh, that is the first time I've seen this one. This Duskull is sweet. Only because of the mask coming out like that. That is kind of cool, guys. I'm just saying, even some of these basics have been surprising me aromatic energy interesting not even leaf energy aromatic energy and a normal fortress that is a cool energy though guys for sure cool energies i'll take this all around hopefully like i said yeah it's definitely the belly flop from that whalmer random question did anyone take the win with ps5 all the bots bought them yeah i did not and i had people with bots after him that even that didn't score so like i'm saying even with bots it was hard um so it's it's yeah such an l that way, I actually, guys, do you do you want to know how much I love you guys? Look, can I sh can I show you real fast? What are we doing right now? We're pulling Pokemon cards, right? What could I be doing? I could be, 
I'm not a PS5 guy, guys. I wasn't, but seriously, I have my digital Xbox S right here, and I, I'm not even playing it right now. I'm hanging out with you guys pulling Pokemon cards, and that shows you the dedication to these amazing rares that I have today. It's insane. So I could be playing the Xbox right now, and I chose to hang out with you guys. Hanging out with you guys. If you guys want, we will start doing gaming Twitches as well. I used to be sponsored way back when. Not anymore, of course, because I haven't gotten back into it in a while. But I used to be sponsored for Halo, Halo 2, way stuff back in the day. I was a young kid, so my mom didn't want me going off to another state, California, and, 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 and technically training. You would say training still with um, with a team or something like that and going all, all gamed out. But I was that good. So I think I'm going to get back into it. League Staff, very nice card. Actually, they're, they're a lot better than some of the other double trainer cards that you'd kind of see. League Staff, draw two cards. In Wyndham Stadium, is an, if it's in play, and draw two more cards if that's the case. Wow, that is a nice card. Look at this Charmeleon over here. That's right, we haven't even gotten the Charizard yet. It will be a cop-out for tomorrow's, but there's that Aracuda again. Ninkata. Pipek. Pikipek. Puchina. Rockruff. He's not really... That's... What is he, like, scratching his ear? What is he, he something in his ear? Maybe a flower? Oh, no, that's actually another Pokemon, isn't it? Is that a Ninkata? Nope, it's got a cute fly. A cute fly on its ear, and it's trying to scratch it off. Very, very interesting. I was sponsored with Halo 2 as well, so we might have actually been been battling way back in the day. I can't remember. I think mine was Shoop -da Whoop <laughs> was my name. You remember that? Shoop -da Whoop. Um, that's exactly what it was. So, um, that was my, my tag back in the day. And then I, I changed it to a bunch of other things, but yeah, still, this is a nice crocodile as well. Um, but yeah, no, back in the day with, uh, yeah, Halo 2, I used to, oh my God, I used to love those games. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Knights with the code red Mountain Dew and the, and the, uh, Cool Ranch Dorito chips. Those were my nights. Those were my kind of nights or the ones where like you didn't have a big screen television back in the day. So you'd have like a tube television and then if your buddy was playing, you know, you'd be cheating looking at you. You'd have to, like, take a curtain and, like, tape it to the screen so it split it in half so it was truly split screen. Yeah. The ways we did it back then. Look at that. Ar aromatic energy again. Look at that one. I almost thought that the legs were all gone on this guy. The Gol Golvatuna? Tula? I don't know. Some of the new ones kind of elude me, guys. I apologize. Tynemo. Or uh, Tynemo. Execute. Chat it. Clobblepuss. Skidoo, we got a reverse pine cone now and a holographic Reggie Rock. So we're knocking some stuff off the collection, guys. Either way, I'm gonna have a decent amount of stuff to put in the binder tomorrow. Other than that, I'm hoping that I'm getting some rares here. We didn't we didn't get too many pulls yet from this box. Are you kidding me? The right side's gotta be loaded right now. Ga Galventula. Galventula, like tarantula. Galventula. Okay, I got it. It'll it'll take me four. I can't even remember people's names at work half the time. Are you kidding me? doesn't even matter doesn't even matter we like pokemon more than we like people so what did i win that's a good question i did put <laughs> i did put that hook and line in you won um but you could win tomorrow if you guess what charizard pack it's going to be in um just saying if you want to come along for the ride you can win you won knowing that there's going to be a, a prize given out tomorrow that's what you won today so <laughs> perching chin per percher chin and the Lucario, that's a sick looking Lucario. He is just setting up. It kind of looks a little weird at the beginning, but no, he's setting up for one of those moves for him. That uh, that knuckle impact, 160 damage. Damn. Wow. Wow, Lucario. For the win up there. But yeah, no, it was a hook, line, and sinker uh, kind of thing for you won. Or I was going to put, uh, I normally put you can win. Um, but yeah, so it's okay. It's okay. I lured you in. I, I tricked you today. But who's to say me tricking you today doesn't bring you tomorrow's guess to then you can win a prize. So Tallow and Swellow cards are pretty cool. They are. They absolutely are. That's Dwight. Dwight for the win. And he, every time we get something good, he's like, yes. He's not, and then I, should, I should take out this. I know this guy's like $85, $90 right now. It's insane. I should take out the bobblehead and create a tiny. You know what I got to do? I got to replace his arm with the Joker arm from um the dark knight who's got his 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 card in it and then i got a painted a pokemon card and that would be a sick dwight right there there's mar cargo or uh yeah mag cargo but he we're 
I mean, Slug Slugma before was was definitely missing out where he was where all these guys were. He he missed out the on the train to leave. I save all my booster pack sleeves, so now I have so many. Jeez, so much to save. It's insane. To think you guys can sell card art down the line. There's that Whalmer again. We got a reverse shuckle. Reverse shuckle and ooh, an Ampharos V. That is very nice. Oh my god, that eye, the way the way the it gleams with that eye. I don't know if you guys can get that now. It's kinda it's kinda a little off. But you can definitely see in person that eye is gleaming. Going in for the sleeve. There we go. I'm trying to think. We had technically those guys over there. We only had two pulls for this one so far. Togo Kiss V. I'm trying to manu maneuver the V Max. The Galarian in the back came from the two from before, the eight packs and the ETB, especially with the Aglash. Then we had the Togokiss VMAX in yesterday's packs that came in two build and battle boxes. So we only had two pulls out of the eight we're normally getting for this. So how many packs are we in so far? That's a very good question. I'll tell you how much we got left on one side. You can do the math. I'm not good at math, so I'll let you guys do it if you want. Um, let's see. We have... One, two, three, four, five left on the left hand side. So normally 36, so 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. We're we're on the the 14th pack coming up. 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, we're on the 14th pack. And look, Pikachu is just looking at us. He's he's uh do I have any more ETBs? I have two more ETBs actually. Yes, I do. Um I have those and I have a ton of the champions path ETBs as well hanging out in the background so i do have them i grabbed three the other day out of the eight that was on the shelf so i left some for the kitties um i wasn't gonna go super ham i don't really want like like yeah this is kind of cool but not like the be like the best out of the sleeves like i even ordered um the mega um charizard sleeves to get my d uh, delivery pikachu they keep saying it's sold out, but I don't. I, every time I put something in my cart, it's in there, so they they can't have run out yet. So you guys can still get them on there. Twenty dollar purchase or more on PokemonCenter.com, and you can go over there. I'm not sponsored. I'm just throwing you guys there for the Detective Pikachu, who will probably be worth something in the future. But I cannot wait for them to put the Charizard with the Pikachu riding him. So so Charizard's pretty much the USPS um, ship, and then pretty much that is that is a nice reverse Metang and a normal B drill. Guys, where are these amazing rares? Where are the amazing rares? Would you sell one? It's hard to get stuff in my area. I possibly could sell one. Uh, I was really... If I can... Let me let me see if I can find more for you, to be honest. I like to get three of everything. I like to rock one, stock one, and also open one. So the one we opened, you know what I mean? So we're, 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 we're there. Normally four or more is when I can really start selling some stuff out. But if you need me to look, I will look out for more. And I will try to get you something for a decent price. Um, to be able to, the thing that sucks is shipping guys, shipping sucks so much, especially on ETBs, it's almost like 10 bucks for something that's a priority mail, it gets kind of crazy, but stick with me, bear with me, we will try my best, there's a reverse opal at EDC, and, ooh, 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 we have a VMAX rule on here, so it's a VMAX card, we have the Pikachu VMAX, and it is the Rainbow Rare. Oh my god, oh my god, he's so big, he's so big. Look at that tail even, that tail, that tail doesn't even make sense, it's going past his ear. Guys, this is a beautiful, beautiful card. How did we pull this in the first booster box? Insane, insane, wow. Gigamax, well Pikachu VMAX, pretty much, look at that big old, ba like, do you think this is like the Godzilla that goes against the Charizard VMAX? I mean, I would really like to see that battle, but still, wow, wow, wow. In the first booster box, Pikachu VMAX Rainbow Rare. Oh, and the Rainbow Rare, I don't know what happens in certain sets, guys. For some reason, one set, the Rainbow Rares are worth more than the regular cards, and then other sets, it's literally rainbow cards are worthless and all the other decent actual art cards are worth more i do not get it with with us in the community or whatever the case is that way it is too funny that's an amazing find how have we not even hit a basic charizard yet is insane so yeah um you pulled a regular vmax today somebody's saying on tiktok over here told you box two had it exactly generous benefactor you helped me out today thank you so much for that hopefully you win a prize soon you've been in most of my lives so it's got to be coming that guest soon let's see Got another white coat over here, actually. So, could be, could it be the VMAX regular version of it? Who knows? Churchester Bath, Hitmontop. We have not seen him yet. What does he got behind him? That's another trainer, right? That's one of the ones that we saw before. That card is one out of one 
1,092 pull rate. Are you kidding me? That's better than my Pokemon Go odds with my shinies. That's insane. And you with the knowledge over here with the pull rates. Jeez. Wow. Out of the booster box that I got the other day. I, to think I didn't. Oh, I could have opened these five days ago. And I just didn't do it. This is another Voltorb hanging out in Sithco, I think. Rock Ruff getting the cute fly out of his ear. A reverse Puccina, which what's going on in the background over here? Is that graffiti? Or does may I mean it? He could have farted graffiti onto the wall. Let's just <laughs> he could have been like, you know what? I didn't. You didn't feed me right yesterday. <laughs> right on the wall. There's your graffiti. And oh, in a row. What did I just say? It was going to be the rainbow and then the Pikachu V Max pack after pack on the left hand side, guys. That's insane. Wow. Call, how do I call these things, guys? How is this? How is this? I don't know. Uh, can I win a million dollars tomorrow? Can I get a scratch-off ticket that gives me a million dollars so I can go buy Pokemon cards for the rest of my life? Please. Generous benefactor. I don't think... I'm going to have to actually open up the second box another day. Jeez, I got the pull rate list yesterday. That's what it is. Crazy I pulled that Rainbow Pika out of a build and battle box. Wow, that's even rarer because you're only getting four packs that way. Guys, seriously this is the best the best box that i got so far um i know that evolutions box was crazy but seriously now we're already seeing on one side of this uh, is all the luck gone should i just sell these packs out flat the pikachu v max looking amazing i think to be honest if you look at it right now the rainbow is better because you could just see the smile in it this one kind of loses its smile with the gleam of it there i'm just saying so do you want me to pick up some g's <laughs> If I win that million dollars, I'm going to pick up a lot of cheese, a lot of cheese and a lot of Pikachus, a lot of cards, guys. If I can only win the lottery, this would be so much easier. I wouldn't have to actually ask for donations for this, that, and the other thing. But I don't even know how subs work right now on on, t on uh, Twitch. So if you guys are here on TikTok, if you want to see the actual polls, guys, seriously, I'm going to show you this rainbow Pikachu. You should be over on TikTok watching this thing. This is insane. These cards are super cool. Where is my amazing rare? Where is my amazing rare? That is my question. Where are the big guys that are the big guns? The guys that aren't the V Maxes, that aren't the, the ones this way, but are super, super cool. Do you have to hit benchmarks on Twitch to be able to get subs? I don't know. I believe maybe it's affiliate. I don't even know. Do I go for affiliate? I think I'm past 50 followers so far. We could technically do it. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. Where did you get the Pika from the ETB or the boot? I got it from the booster box. I got Togo Kiss V Max and a couple other ones from the booster box. I mean the um, the ETB, and we also got Togo Kiss V Max from the uh, build and battle boxes the other day. So possibilities are there. Pull rates are insane. Somebody just told me that that Pikachu is a one out of one thousand ninety two for a pull rate. Insane. Can't believe it was in that booster box. Here's that Eevee again, hanging out with the Eevees in the background. C dot just looks like I mean I I'm a I'm a, a Doctor Who fan, definitely looks like that episode where this guy's definitely wearing a gas mask, right? This is definitely a gas mask on himself. I mean that's his foot, I guess, but his foot's always up, so it looks like a gas mask. It really shouldn't be. Yep. No, I'm telling you, not asking. Oh, you're just telling me. You have you have to hit. There you go. Electrite. We have a reverse Jolteon. That is super cool. He's he's doing something right there, and a normal Mana Trick right in the back. Hamburger, <laughs> hamburger, like hamburger. C dot getting no love. C dot, yeah, it's C dot's kind of. I mean, but that's the thing. The evolutions are kind of mad too. I mean, some of these Pokemon, you're like, why? I mean, but we had that in the OG set too. We, we had that Rattatas. Even um, what is that? I was watching the uh, Indigo League today, and it was the part where um, they're trying to defend from Team Rocket coming into one of the um, to early episodes, early on. Um, trying to steal all this stuff from the Pokemon Center, and they keep throwing out balls to defend themselves. And what what keeps coming? Like Ratatas and like stupid Pokemon. They're like, we can't do this. C dot is just there and neat. And what Nuzleaf? Yeah, exactly. There's the Nuzleaf right there. He's kind of cool looking, but he's always got an attitude, and he kind of looks like a Luchador at this point. So who knows? Somebody said Raikou's next. Wow, I would love a Raikou. That's the one of the amazing rares. That would be insane to see. This box would be another god box at this point with those two Pikachus and an amazing rare Raikou would be sweet. Who knows? And it's amazing rare Zamazetta. Oh my god. And it's beautiful in person, guys. Seriously. And the, and, and the Lycanroc in the back is, is just a regular one. But oh my god. there! 
all on the left hand side of the box if you did a box break i would take one side of the box for sure look at that shine on there guys you now you can see the energy is right there giving a little bit of a gleam premium for you your centering's not horrible but it's still a sweet sweet card what is up flygon what is up yeah, we got this Zamazetta here with the Pikachu and the VMAX Rainbow Rare right here. Pull rates are insane on these guys. What is the pull list for this guy, for the Zamazetta Rare? Um, I would love to know. Pikachus for days. Got both of them in the same box. You got lucky. 46 boosters that do to open and not a single one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Another thing that's stringing on the luck with the charge rods. I'm telling you guys. And now we're going on to the right-hand side right hand side of this vivid voltage box cannot believe it you're gonna be playing the new cod tonight not me not tonight i haven't even set my xbox up yet i literally just showed it off to you guys before i could be doing it i'm pretty sure i'm pr i'm just gonna be pulling vo vivid voltage with you guys then i'm gonna literally medicate go to sleep and then like i said this guy will be the next thing probably the next couple days i have to see what i can download on it Hopefully the downloads don't take four and a half days like the uh, the old Xbox. So who knows? I went the digital. I'll probably resell the other one if I can. Whatever the case is. Yen Ben, is Jake's Beginnings here? That's a good question. Is Jake's Beginnings here? I actually owe him a code. Jake, if you are here, I need you to message me for these codes. What's great is um, we might go digital again tomorrow for the Charizard. And I have Vivid Voltage Packs on there too. So it's kind of cool to know that I, ha I can actually use them. Since I had them two weeks early and I wasn't allowed to put them online. And then they finally went online and I can't actually rip them until tomorrow. So, yo, I just ripped an absolute football pack today and got a, uh, a, a Tua patch. Very nice. Um, I don't know who Tua is. <laughs> There's another reason why I don't rip sports cards. I, I rip it for you guys, and I, I would butcher them just as good as the, the names here. Um, yeah, I was I, I was raised by women. I have a dad, but I was raised by women. He was always working, So and I have all female cousins, so I was literally raised by women. I know more about... <gasps> that Rayquaza is beautiful. Oh, my... Wait a second. Double pull on this one with an Alistair hanging in the back like a voodoo doll. Rayquaza, amazing rare, and an Alistair full art trainer. I am loving this box choice. Generous benefactor, thank you so much for picking this one, even though we were probably going to go through both of them anyway. But sick, sick cards from this. Oh my God, double pull. This Rayquaza is going to be, an oh my God, we already got the Zamazetta over here. And that I don't have room for all these to be displayed, guys. This is insane guys oh my god rayquaza amazing rare out of the two out of the ones i was going to be pulling guys i did not expect any of these seriously this is another reason why dwight schrute's over here like yes yes it is another amazing rare i'm gonna put you in front of zamazetta no disrespect for you but seriously rayquaza i feel is the better pull that way wow 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 seriously guys and this is why get your friends in here tell them what we could be pulling maybe i have a god box who knows this is kind of crazy these pulls so i mean alistair can hang up here by the background still hanging out i know my face is kind of blocking a little bit but look at this yes toy true yes oh amazing rares for sh they are truly amazing guys i'm not even kidding they are so amazing the detail on them, I'm telling you, if I can get them for cheap somewhere else, if somebody else is literally just going to be selling these things off and not caring about them, I am going to invest hardcore in these. These are dope-ass cars. I'm just telling you. They are so dope, it's not even funny. We are just through the f beginning. That means the rest of this this box is duds. There's, they can't be. You're telling me I have, what is it, eight, eight, 17 packs going on this side that's not going to have any? There's no way. We have a decent amount of pulls so far. This is an amazing box. Amazing box to open with you guys. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for the support. Again, as usual, Zabreska, Exadrill, Nuzleaf, Electrite, Pinnaco, which means the amazing rares can be on the reverses, guys. Even a green code, you can get an amazing rare. And that is an amazing pull. Charmander, a Cramorant reverse, and an alchemy but that's an actual really cool if that one comes in a hollow that hollow's got to be sick lots of flowers very vivid colors on there even for the base card for this one super super great what did somebody say my brother is going to sell shiny zard none graded soon um 
do you mean that you're i mean you're probably getting them graded and then they're going to sell them yeah i would assume so but i mean i have two um that that should be pretty pretty good tens i'm just debating do i do psa do i do beckett black label and hope for the pristine black label it, it's a possibility i'm really going to have to look over them a thousand more times and make sure that nothing no other damage comes to them and then debate where they're going to be going into but seriously i did not think i was gonna be, oh you're just selling them not graded so i'm wondering what they're going for at that point so it's just like cosmic getting the amazing rares on the green codes exactly and to be honest guys those are made the rare, the secrets on on cosmic is sleepers sleeper cards for sure i'm looking to invest in at least another 15 pikachus i'm not even kidding um if anybody has any of those and they're getting rid of them and don't want them red and pikachu i will take a thousand of them i do not care you're the only person i follow on twitch well i appreciate that i appreciate that you know what just for that we're going to go for affiliate. We're going to do that one day. I mean, all we're doing is pulling cards. And if I can get, oh, here we go. If I can get affiliate down the line and that could pay for some stuff to be pulled, who knows? We Then this is just the cycle, guys. This is the point. You follow a geek, somebody who's on your side, and that's it. We just keep getting crazy card amounts. I'll go for extra expensive things just for us. Just for us. And then who knows? I'll be the next Leonhart down the line and I'm giving away uh, all the cards to you guys. You never know. And I'll remember who's there from the start. Because it's all the people who won my prizes. That's right. If you need help with grading and centering on cards, I can always help, dude. I appreciate that. Absolutely. I appreciate that. Like I said, I think it's a super strong 10. Like, almost, I, I not to be like float my own boat, but I really think it's a it's a black label. Um, But I could be wrong. I could be super wrong. But, I mean, if anything, it's a, if I send it into PSA, it's getting a 10. If I send it into Beckett, it'll probably get a 9.5 or something crazy. I'll get points off. So I'm debating just doing the PSA just to get it over with, to get the better option that way. But who knows? Who knows? What else could be in this pack, guys? What else could be in here? If I win anything, you can have it. There you go. Kakuna, Loudred. We got a new stadium over here. Winden Stadium. Looks kind of cool here. Trying to go through some of this. Milsery, Galarian Meowth, Chimicho, Blitzel, Slugma again, way far out. A reverse Kakuna. I'm wondering how much of this set I'm going to... PSA is king, my man, I know, but the price, the price is not king. And a nice Steelix V. This, this card is badass. I will say the background of this with whatever's going on here, which he looks like a tremor that just like jumped out of the, <laughs> out of the ground. This is a move. I mean, we have Raging Hammer on here and Iron Tackle. I'm assuming this is Iron Tackle and somebody is done for. Done for. Yup. Done for on this side. Let's get a premium sleeve over here. This is technically still a pull. Steelix V. Very nice for this set. I'm actually liking this set more than I thought, guys. I did not think I was going to. Really didn't think I was going to. And everybody was like, no, I'm not really digging it. You're wrong. You're wrong. Beckett is just as expensive. It is. But the thing is, if you get that black label, it's worth like double what a PSA 10 is for, for a shiny. Or at least a quarter more or something like that. It's definitely more than the PSA 10. So, yeah. It's just it, Either way, it's a good... It's a good try if you really know it's going to be something perfect. But then I'm always wondering, like, what if that pristine black label gets damaged on the way there? And then they open it up and they're like, sorry, bro. USPS really effed up this time. <laughs> that would be super upsetting. So we're definitely, I think, I don't think I'm going to sell that other box. I think I'm opening that other Vivid Voltage. Just to see what we can knock out of the collection. Because this is definitely going to be something I like. Just because of these amazing rares, guys. We already got two. It was all on one side. Imagine if I did a box break. If somebody grabbed that entire side and I kept the other side, that would have been bad news for me. Galarian Meowth and a Wailord. This is a hollow over here. What do we got? Do we got what is underneath him over here? I gotta double check at this one. I'm, I'm assuming that's a small Wailord there. I mean, um, the one before it. Um, but yeah. So in general, I don't know why he's hanging out with that. But that's a sick sick card too he's just he's just barreling out looks like uh the the whale from from uh pinocchio you know what i mean kind of cool kind of cool still not an amazing rare pull nothing crazy imagine i got three in here i've been hyping up vivid for the past couple months and nobody nobody believed you and they should have they should have hello hello they never. what they should never because it's just money do i want my drink i actually i'm okay right now because i have a drink in here because i was prepared stone energy first time seeing that we did get the gigamax pikachu both the rare the rare and the rainbow rare which is a one in a thousand pull i found out so kind of crazy my wife doesn't care i could literally tell her it was a maserati or something like that or a lamborghini that just fell on my lap and she would she'd be like uh-huh what doesn't matter right doesn't matter voltorb reverse 
And a normal hand <laughs> trick. She hates me. She hates me and loves me. She hates me right now. You have all. You do have all the luck. You actually. You brought me to get this booster box too, as well. So again. Oh, again. Again. It's one that I took. It's the one that you took me to the shop for, and I got it that day. So you are the winner of the double Pikachu Max. You have won again. Wim Scott, Duskull. Ooh. That is very true. I have a. That means I have a ton of stuff to open, guys. That means that that is. The, what am I getting for Black Friday? I got it for myself already. That was the Xbox. Where there is the reverse Wimscot. What are you getting? The rest of my Clefable. Set. The rest of your set. What's your set? The Hot Wheels. The Hot Wheels. That's right. Those you were getting the right. Spaces on the wall are me okay. So you uh, do you know do you know the listings of what I'm looking for or what we're looking for? I'll get them for you. I promise. I promise. We will finish off the. Oh, that cleric stays out. I'm trying to finish maneuvering the bulk and stuff, guys. I apologize. Um, what are you guys getting for Black Friday? That's a good, I'm not going out for anything. I'm not wasting my time or the energy or getting killed out there for no reason. I, I have been to some bad Black Friday deals, um, and stuff has went down. I've seen an old lady, literally a grandma, like punt a small child for a television. And here's the worst thing. The kid wasn't even going for the television. It was just maneuvering to get to its mother and literally just got punted. Go ahead. What happened to me? You turn the heat on, so it is getting fiery in here, and Flygon has been a new new follower. Cheers to you. The heat is on. The heat is on, so I have to get through the rest of this pack before I start sweating, guys. Can't be uh, moistening, up all, moistening up all the, the cards. Can't do it. Who is excited for the rest of this set? Let's see. Telescopic sight. That thing's actually pretty sick. That was a cool looking one. Ferrothorn. Go Goat. It's like we're getting most of the stuff that we didn't get in the first side of it. Mudbray. Joltik. Woo, Dwight Shrew going down. What are you stopping? What are you what are you what are you, are you shocked over something? He was like, oh he passed out. He knew what the card was. A reverse Clefairy. I don't think that would have been the one thing. And a Yan Mega. Bam. Getting ready with a vivid voltage. Vivid voltage. Let's get it going. I like how I trapped everybody else in my TikTok. I'm like, you won. And they came in. They're like, he's not even paying attention to us. And I'm like, yep, go over to TikTok. And then go over to Twitch. I double-rooted you over. Steel Energy. Another telescopic sight. Ferrothorn. Seems like the same pack. Go. Yep, Blitzel. Skidoo. Ferroseed. DDD. Drillbur. What's the reverse? The reverse is going to be a loud red. And the hit is going to be... A new one, a Galarian Darmanidon V. So that is a pull that we will keep in the sleeve. That is another pull for this crazy box. For this crazy box with double Pikachus. Okay, okay. Keeping the bulk out of my face. Almost have a half of an ETB fully with all the bulk. Crazy. hey -o. what is up, Patrick? How's it going? We were opening some Vivid Voltage for you guys and for me. Crazy pulls, already two amazing rares. We already got the Pikachu, both of them, the VMAX and the Rainbow Rare. Not too shabby for a day like today. Shoop it. Ferroseed. What did I miss? I will go over the pulls at the end. I absolutely will. C dot. A reverse Snorlax, which we got the hollow for before, and a Vaporeon. I can't wait to get the hollow of that one. That one looks sick. That one is cool. Yep, yeah, we got a, we got the Pikachus over here, the two amazing rares, so the Pikachus are just dipping out like that. Um, kind of crazy. They were both on the same side of the of the street when it comes to this um, this box. They were both on the same side. We're going through the dud side right now. The dud side, which if I was just a flipper and not a collector, I would be selling those off as soon as I got the two pulls. But I'm not like that. Not like that, guys. If you guys want to do back uh, box breaks for anything, please let me know. I can uh, I can coordinate that with you guys. Sableye, Clefairy, got my hands on a few booster packs, waiting for my ETBs, there you go, Yanma, Galarian Meowth, a Duskull, a Dewat Reverse, and an Orbeetle V, that is another hit off the collection, we're making some hits today guys, nothing that duplicated what we got in either the, the build and battle boxes, or the other ones, I can't wait to get more promos guys, those Charizard promos, I'm hunting those guys down. I have 20 build and battle boxes coming in, guys. Um, yeah, it's a problem. But got to wait for those. Um, those are coming in, I think, next week. 
next week for that that gundam beetle exactly exactly crazy i used to love gundam I used to put the figures together that was crazy stuff crazy crazy stuff Travis Scott shoe drop after video. Very interesting, guys. If you uh, follow Travis Scott, apparently there will be a drop. Metang, Kakuna, Talo. I'm just giving you information from my monitors or my people in my flipper groups. Giving you guys the info. It's a UFO. It pretty Yeah, I said that in the beginning. I said it's pretty much... There's a uh, Zorora reverse and an Alchemy uh, normal again. I'm waiting for that hollow. Um... We pretty much said it. If you put on the box art, I think of it when it's when the Orb Beetle's up there. It look you just put the White House in, underneath it. It looks like Independence Day. Absolutely. Like I said, guys, this side's getting a little bit of dud, little dudish, because uh, we had all our hits on the left hand side. So these are all just like burn through cards. There's a Chudo, a Rylu. There's that Eevee again. C dot, Electrite. A reverse cro uh, Croco Roke, and another normal Fortress. Okay, this binder is going to be so much fun to go through tomorrow since I have both Pikachu's already, guys. That means any Pikachu, I still need three of everything to be able to to have something for sale or trade. So it's not the greatest so far. Most of the stuff is for twenty years from now. See it then. Croco Roke, Delmize looks like a better one. Rocky Helmet. Vampy, can we get a cold gar gold card out of this? That would be nice. I, we only have like five or six packs left. Voltorb, Rockruff, a Whalmer, and a Colossal VMAX. That is why Dwight Trude is like, yes, yes, yes. This guy is super sick. Super, super sick. Wow, 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 wow. This Colossal VMAX is super cool. Can't believe this, guys. Really? Most I haven't had, and this is why I go with these boxes, guys. That's why you go with the box because you you have your guaranteed pulls. You're not taking the randomization. I literally had like 300 packs, the sleeve packs at my Walmart, and I did not grab them yesterday because I was not gonna get those when I can get the bigger options. I'm so, I, I I love the Celebi I have in the background. This this pack's giving me some trouble. There we go. Do 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 do. I don't know where I put all those stuff down. Burnt. One two three four. Here we go. We're, we're nearing the end of this uh, this box. Colossal Beats Eats Beats. Yes. Colossal Eats Beats. Has a beat farm. Is beating it up all day. Shoop it. We got a, a reverse Mudbray and a Flareon. Okay. So, guys, we are four packs left. Four packs left of this booster box. It has taken us over an hour to get through this booster box, guys, because we've been jaw-dropped over these amazing rares and the possible pulls that are in here. So... Can we get another good pull here within the last four? Keeping the energies over there. Hit him on top again with the trainer behind. Execute. Eevee. Woobat. Iracuda with the Cramorant coming down for it. C dot. We have the reverse telescopic sight. And we're going to have a normal, normal Snorlax hollow again. Okay. I actually like that card. I do not mind. Can it be the last three packs? Can we get something crazy out of it? We've had crazy pulls as it is. We can still get a, I, I mean, we're not going to get an Amazing Rare again for the reverse, but in the same sense, you can still get it on a green code. So do not be upset with those. Yeah, that Snorlax is pretty sick, I will say. I'm going to have to look for the non holo one of it, too. I guarantee it's that in the reverse. It's got to be. There's a Chat It and a Jolteon Normal on that one. That one was a, oh, that was a green code. I, I, got, af I got afraid. I was like, isn't that a white code? Let's see which one of these we're ending with. Let's see if one of these are a white code or not. The white code will go last. Finish strong. This one is a green code. So either way, we're going to just do this one. We're going to burn through it because we don't need the other one. We don't need the other one because of how we did everything. So let's do it. Cheese, cheesing it up. We have an opal again. A bay. The first time I've seen this one for bay. Dwat. Somebody, hold on one second, guys. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. It says, Travis Scott unboxing, experience a PS5 unboxing. It's on YouTube. Something, Something's going to go on after that video, though. So that's what's going on. There's going to be a drop after the video. They might put the PS5 up on Travis Scott. Who knows? It wouldn't be the first thing to throw us off. A reverse grapple lock. The first time we've seen this one. And a she-ninja? A she-ninja? She she-ninja. 
She Dinja over here. Shell survival and life squeeze. I wish there was a con that, that one's got to be a cool hollow to see. Okay, last one, guys. Last pack magic. Can we do it? Dwight Schrute, give it a little kiss. Okay, good job, buddy. You believe it, Angela? Angela. Nothing's better than, like I said, that final, the, all, all the, all the kind of um, crazy stuff that goes down for, I mean, even the party and stuff like that. But when he picks up Angela to dance with her, it's just hilarious. At their wedding, can't believe it. Did we ever think we were going to get two weddings out of that? Bay, Dwat, Chat it, Joltix, yeah, she Dinja, but Mudray, Slugma, the Reverse Wash Energy, and a normal Graplock. So guys, let's go through these pulls. Let's see what we have so far for this set. How is it going, man? Cosmic Wolf, how are you doing? I am doing amazing. We're pulling over on Twitch the series for. Oop, we're just knocking some stuff off. That is the Charizard back here. The the Eevees. We're pulling these guys off. Let's see what we got for this series so far. Super awesome pulls. I'm trying to put them in some kind of order that's kind of cool to go through them. The VMAXs. These guys are definitely last. Pikachu getting the back. Back of class with, to be honest, your amazing rares. A lot, a lot of stuff on this, actually, guys. So this is what we have for the series so far. We are going to go over it. Yo, any hot pulls the, I, I, from Vivid? Yeah, so we actually we're just about to go over it, too. So the Celebi Amazing Rare is something that I pulled out of the Build and Battle Box the other day. So that is a super crazy one. We got the Ampharos V. We have the Togokiss V. The Aglish V Full Art. The Alistair Full Art. Colossal V Max. The Orbeetle V, the Galarian Darmanidian V, a Steelix V, which is super, super sick. Uh, the Darmanian V Max of it. There you go. We have the Togo Kiss V Max. We have the Pikachu V Max. And apparently, what we found out today, one out of 1,092 pull rate for a Pikachu V Max. This is in perfect timing, guys, because I'm starting to sweat my ass off now in here. I could feel the heat. A Rayquaza. Amazing rare, which is just amazing in itself, and a Zamazetta amazing rare to go with the Celebi that we already have. So, guys, out of the amazing rares, seriously, these guys are freaking sweet, and this Rayquaza is nuts. Crazy nuts. So, that is it for Vivid Voltage today. I have tomorrow, we can either do a digital Charizard hunt again, um, which is just easier for me not to go through binders, to have to go through so much bulk and stuff like that, but it's up to you guys. Um, we could do that, or I can open the Evolutions of the Darkness of Blaze booster box behind here, whatever the case is. We have some stuff to go through. Yeah, that Rainbow Rare Pikachu Chubby Boy is amazing. He really, really is. Cannot believe we even, out of the first box, got him. It's not like I have to go searching for him. Both of them here. I think they're both great, great for grading-wise, too. They're, they were super cool with the, um, the I mean, when I looked on the back end of both of them. But these guys, to get them both in the same booster box... To get this all fully done, there's also a full art trainer, Leon, too. Yeah, I mean, I can't wait for those. There are some crazy trainer ones. I love the trainer ones, I think, more than the Pokemon ones a lot of times. But, like I said, you can actually see the smile of this Pikachu in the rainbow one. But see how it's kind of missed a little bit? He kind of looks like he's just upset in this one until you really look at it. But this one, you can definitely tell he's a happy Pikachu. He's happy to be here. Um, and I'm happy to have him. So, yep, I, pulled a, I did not pull a Raikou. I can't wait to pull a Raikou out of it, too. Yeah, but super killer moves this way. Super electrifying kind of opening what we did here. So crazy to be with you guys. Thank you guys for the support again. Seriously, come back tomorrow to win a prize. We are going to do another Charizard hunt, whether it be digitally, whether it be physical, whatever the case is. We will be on day. I don't even know where it went today. Where did it go? I think it's behind here. Let's see. Let's go through our Charizard hunts. Get the Celebi out of here. Boop put these guys in reverse order reverse see how many days i've been doing it here on on uh twitch twitch and tiktok we've been going live doing these day nine took six packs to get a charizard i believe that was one of the ones from uh what's it called from evolutions day 10 was 13 packs we had a winner that day spanky 1992 guessed 13 packs and has a prize out let's see this is patrick patrick i think messaged me today patrick got his prize pack in that was five packs in Nobody won on this one. 
Slippy was number one. We did one pack that day, guys. I got that Pikachu from the Japanese Volt Tackle, same set. Pulled the regular Pikachu, sent off to grade. Very nice. Star Lord was day 13. That was one of our largest ones, 60 at that point. 60 packs it took. JSJS Genevieve won for pack 23 on this one, which I believe I packed up the prize today. Pack number 19 was day 15. Susie, you got a girlfriend for Charizard in the back. This one, the card habit, came in for the second win. Second win with pack 77. That was today, or yesterday. That was one of the largest ones that we did, 77. And we did 41 packs today for day, day 17. And we wound up getting the, I think, what one did we even get? I even forget what one we did. I'm going to have to look at the video later. I, I don't think it was this Charizard. Um, it could have been, it might have been the Mega. It might have been the Mega. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too sure. But nobody won today. Nobody won on pack 41. And tomorrow, Benny the Zard, guys. Benny the Zard. Well, we're going to be searching him out with Dry Trude over here. Benny the Zard, day 18. I don't know what time we go live, guys. It's literally when my kid is either asleep or something, or nothing's going on or they left or whatever the case is. Benny the Zard tomorrow, day 18. Can we do it? We didn't even pull a Charizard from the Vivid Voltage. So I'm telling you. I think it's on it's on our best best interest not to pull any more vivid that we might get it tomorrow whether it be vivid voltage I can open another booster box or we can keep going for some other stuff but stay tuned tomorrow um, we will try I, like I'll, I'll try to keep you guys posted we're normally on TikTok first and then we jump over to Twitch and then we back go jump back to TikTok afterwards so we do a pre-show and a post show um, so if you guys are there stay tuned. Come win a prize tomorrow. Tell your friends that they can win prizes. They can win a prize for you. Say, hey, listen, do you have a Twitch? I don't even need you to do anything. I need you to jump in this guy's live, guess a number, and then dip back out. That's it. That's all you got to do. And if you want to watch, you can watch. The watching's for us. But if you guys want to win a prize, you guys can kind of go around the system. I don't I don't care at this point. I'm just sending prizes out. I'm sending two figures out this time. So Card Habit's going to be surprised by what he gets. I think he's going to like it. As well as, I believe, what is it? It was the, uh, not the card habit. It was, do, 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 do. JSJS Genevieve, I think, will be impressed with the figure that is going out as well. Um, so, that is what we're doing tomorrow. We will be there for day 18. Day 18, be there or be square. You can't win the prize if you're not in our Twitch. So, just letting you guys know. Thank you guys again. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow, and thank you for tuning in.